All right, we're gonna do a somewhat shorter video here. It's mostly gonna be a challenge, but then I'm gonna show you how to do it afterwards. I want you to go into your player. And right now, if you don't know, we actually have no, nothing happening when he is in the hurt state. So it's not messing with the animation at all. Nothing's going on. And the truth of the matter is though, it should be because we have it so that our game always updates the uh, animator based on what's going on. So it always has, as soon as I find update, wherever you are, this set right here so that we are always setting our animator, the integer inside there that we control everything with based off this. So you see here the hurt state is number four. Let's see what we can do, right? So right now as a challenge, I would like you to set up a uh, appropriate animation for his hurt. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so now you should have gone over here, gone over to Sunnyland artwork, sprites, player, and you go to hurt. And as you can see here, oh, oh, there's this quick little animation right there. We're gonna right click hit uh, animation over here. Right click, create animation. And we're gonna go hurt. <coughs> we're gonna drag this over put it right there. We're gonna shift click both of these to 16 because we don't even need to bother seeing it all small before we go ahead and fix that. And then from basically any position, we want it to be able to get hurt, right? Now the problem is if we go from any state, it'll continuously just, just go right back into hurt because it'll be set on six the whole time. So the animation won't actually run. So once again, we have to make the spaghetti mess where all these have a connection to it. All right, so we're gonna have to make a spaghetti string of uh, transitions here. Now this is pretty annoying to have to do, of course, but it is what it is. I mean, there's other ways around it. Uh, if we weren't using this state machine this way with the numbers, we wouldn't have to necessarily do it this way, but you know, this works really well in code, so I didn't want to do it a different way. All right, zero, 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 zero. So now we have a bunch of ways to go into there. We want to make a transition going back to idle because that's the only one that we're really going to be doing from there. Now remember, the idle is actually zero, so we're gonna do state equals zero. Did I do that right? Yeah. And then for all the ones going over to it, which I can't even fully see right now, yeah. We're gonna go condition state equals, and I believe it's four. Double check myself, four. <laughs> state equals four. State. Oops, I messed up on one. State equals four, and state. Now, if you are doing like something really complicated inside this uh, system, you might not want to use my same like state animation system where I use the numbers. I like it because it it makes it so that you can just update all these. Uh, you can set up this parameter all with one parameter inside of code instead of having like a dozen parameters for it, which is way more annoying. Um, but like if you wanted, for instance, to be able to use the any uh, state and drag it over and just so you didn't have to have the spaghetti string, you could just use a trigger instead and just have like a hurt trigger. And it would just, uh, uh, what a trigger does is it just clicks it once and then it like and then it like unclicks almost like right away so it's it's really fast inside the system it just kind of like that you know that snap right there and then it's over so like it'll go to any state and it won't re-trigger any state again it just triggers it once and it just goes so it's it's pretty cool compared to uh, this system right here but this system is really nice in code you know one line and then it's just done it's it's pretty amazing and powerful in that way just a lot more setup over here all right, so we go back to player, we go to scene, we want to go and take a look at him, and we're going to open up our window animation. Now, if you have not done any of the challenge uh, for this already, if you haven't done this within a challenge already, then I want you to make the animation real quick. 
All right, you want to make sure that you're on hurt. You want to shift click on them, drag them over, and then you just want to make sure that we are within it. You want to hit play? Might want to make this longer. So let's go like this, and then let's go like this, I guess. There we go. So as you can see, I did the same trick I've been doing all along where I placed two of those. And then we're going to go ahead and exit that right there. We have a hurt animation. Now it should work. Get some, and then like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and there we go. We got some pretty good feedback there. We can see it. As you can see, he's not repeating it though. That's because I, honest to God, forgot to hit loop time there <laughs> instead of uh, preemptively doing it. So we'll go through, make sure that it looks good one more time. Boom. Boom. And then, ah, ah, I just lost my own game by accident. <laughs> All right, so if you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button, give me that like. And if you want to see more videos like this, well, you're gonna anyway, despite whether you want to see it or not, because at this point I have already made all these videos. But uh, please hit that subscribe button and give me that bell notification, because then you will get the updates on when I am putting more videos up, which should be every day until this series is over. Uh, let me know what kind of video series you want to see next, because it'll probably end up being my third series. Because uh, I'm probably already making a second series at, by this point. And uh, I think that's about it. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you like slash dislike. And have yourselves the best day. Thank you. Bye.